Hi everybody. Lately I got some question about um, type of valves, uh, relays and power supply that are compatible with my system. Uh, so yeah, in this video I'm going to, to give you some information about it. The system works with, uh, with the relay that act as a switch. And these relays are 5 volt compatible so you, you if you if you take yeah you can see here in the second line that is 5 volt DC and uh, this is the first point second point is the connector and how the ground and uh, plus 5 volt or VCC are uh, located in the 6 pin connector So if you use the, the board, then you can see in the, in the cell screen that there is a 5 volt VCC and on the other side there is a ground. Um, the board has uh, two connectors, one with, the, with the 6 pins that is compatible with uh, an uh, array of uh, four relay and the other with 10 pins that is compatible with uh, eight relays. So in case we want to connect the four relays to the board, we have to connect to the um, connector with six pins. And here we are, let's connect it. And that's it. You can see that the important part is that VCC and VCC are connected to the same pin. This is the very important part. Okay, so this was the first point. The other point is the, the type of valve that can be connected. Indeed, the, the uh, system with the relay acts as a, a switch. So there is no specific uh, uh, requirement for valve and power supply, except that the valve should be normally closed. This is because uh, uh, there are two types of valve for uh, irrigation, especially the big type like this one that is one inch is that uh, uh, some of the valve the normally close they are uh, as the name say normally close when there is no current applied to the valve and then they open when the, you apply a current and then when uh, you switch off the valve close uh, on the opposite, uh, there are the latching valves, and this system is not compatible with the latching valves, in which when you give uh, an impulse, the valve open, you give another impulse or current, and the valve close. Um, regarding the, the power supply, uh, normally the big valve like this are 24 volts DC or AC. In this case, I choose, I seen that for the same price, there is also a 12 volt. Yeah, maybe you can see here. Yes, this is 12 volts valve. And it's exactly the same as 24 volts, except for the different voltage. I prefer to use the 12 volt because uh, the power supply are cheaper and uh, indeed uh, you can find many. And this is because the 12 volt is used for uh, LED normally. So you can uh, get a better deal with this power supply. And uh, you don't need a big power supply indeed to switch on the valves. Here, for example, I have a power supply that is 12 volt. Yeah, you can see. 12 volt DC, 5 amp. And that's it. With this one, we can, we can manage the valves. Another point, you can use also the 24 volts power supply and 24 volt valves. There is no issue and uh, you just use the relay as a switch and uh, just to clarify how to use it you can see that each relay 
S3 contacts. I don't know if you, uh, yeah. So, the contact in the center is the common connector on the right side that is normally closed, and the connector on the left side that is normally open. And this is one that we have to use. So, when the current is applied, the switch uh, closes the circuit between the common and the left connector. And this is what we have to use for the valve. Other things. Um, I often use 12 volt, 12 volts supply because uh, there are also quite cheap uh, converter, DC to DC voltage converter, like this one. And uh, this one converts from 12 volt to 5 volts. If I use a 12 volt power supply, I can just use one of power supply and then use this one to uh, supply the necessary power to the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi works at 5 volts. This one, for example, cost, uh, if I remember correctly, around 4 euro. For the valve, indeed for the small garden, normally I use this one. This is 4 euro. <laughs> I got a very good price for this. It's 4 euro. You can see 12 volt. And it's kind of reliable. I use it for 2 years, I have no problem. So, it depends on what is your application, you can choose the, the valves that best fit to your purpose. Uh, now I'd like to give a short demonstration of if this is working. So, this I use this just to simplify the connection. And uh, I connect a 12 volt here. So we have the distribution of the power here. And uh, I will connect the negative directly to the valve and the positive going through the relay and then going to the valve. Very simple circuit. Okay, the relay is now connected. Let's now connect the Raspberry Pi to the board and the relay to the board. Okay, now the system is booting. I will use my smartphone to connect to it. In few seconds, we will see the IDOS is for Wi Fi network. Yeah, here it is. Connect. Um, now I'm in the setting page and I'd like to test the relay. Uh, I didn't connect to the 12 volt, so the valve will not start now. I just want to check if I remember correctly which is the relay number. And it should be the relay order 8. Let's try. Yes, this is the first relay on the left. Great. So, uh, the the relay activates. Now let's connect the power to the valve and uh, let's see what happens when we switch it on. I will keep the valve switch on for 10 seconds. Okay, let's start. So, 
you heard the noise. Yes, it looks like it's working. Okay, so we get uh, on and off, and you can hear from the noise that uh, something is happening. I think that's all for this video. Hope it was useful, and uh, thank you for watching.